Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, today we will take a look at the Great British Pound, um, mostly that because on the euro currency we have talked a lot about the setup and uh, in fact the long term analysis stands the same, we just need to adjust, uh, if we could call this, uh, we just need, we need to adjust the targets that we have on the euro currency because you can see although Yesterday and the first half of trading session reaction reached uh, on the targets that have been reached was not really bad and statistics from the United States was supportive, but there's too much events have coincided in one, in one point. So you probably heard about the European Central Bank minutes that were suggested that the European Central Bank could temper, taper off the uh, quantitative easing program faster than it was suggested initially. Also, as you know, that the Netherlands and uh, Spain has come to an agreement with the Great British, uh, with the United Kingdom. And uh, in, in, in the sphere of the free trading uh, relationship, so uh, despite the Brexit, uh, now it seems that it, it will make the, it will have uh, less impact on the overall process of the abandoning of the Great, Great Britain of the European Union. That was also supportive to uh, Great British Pound. As you know, it's, uh, euro currency and Great British Pound together is really a great part of the dollar index, so euro currency takes more than a half. And this rally has happened there, so that has pressed on the dollar index, and dollar index collapsed. So our suggestion of the triple to buy pattern has been destroyed. This market has dropped below the lows, previous lows. Uh, still, in the medium term perspective, it doesn't mean that the ma that major retracement uh, uh, will start. It's probably we should uh, adjust the targets where it could start. So on the dollar index, we need to take a look right now, not and the uh, triple two buy, but uh, take a look at the butterfly. And it points approximately to the first target round 89.33. That is on the dollar index. On the Great British Pound, uh, approximately the same story. So uh, since we haven't traded in the last week, but those of you who are Following our analysis, probably should be familiar with this with this chart. This is daily chart of the Great, Great British Pound, and if you remember, we have traded mostly this, this drop because that was, if you remember, that was our godless cheapo to sell has been formed here, and we said that maybe it could turn market down. But we, when we have uh, seen this uh, choppy action, this just was very short-term trading, so we just have taken some trades inside of it, uh, and indeed. Our long-term view was confirmed by the price action. So, indeed, market has jumped up, taken out of the previous top. And right now, we're mostly talking about the butterfly pattern on the weekly chart. On the daily chart, we have another uh, targets, another patterns, but uh, the destination point stands at the same level. Here, we have large ABCD pattern, as you can see. That was the COP target, minor extension reaction on the COP. Breakout, now market is coming to OP target, objective point. And stands approximately 38.20. Also, take a look that the 38.20 uh, will be daily over bond, weekly period resistance one, but it's around 30, 38, uh, 20, 38.40 area, it will be major butterfly target on the weekly chart. And this is, guys, actually an area of the strong monthly resistance. So uh, that will be the target for for our trading on the common week. We will not take a look at the higher targets because they stand in beyond of the daily and weekly ever bond areas. That's why on the common week we mostly will be watching for reaching by the market in the area around 38.20, 38.40. That will be our object on the Great British Pound. Also, as I promised, 
In a weekly research, I will show the chart of the euro that will be enough to understand what we should keep an eye on. So as market has exceeded the OP target on the daily chart, it's just minor action has followed on this. This indicates how strong the market is. And actually, guys, by taking a look at the safety seal report, I should say that uh, euro currency now stands in the absolute extreme point of the uh, as open interest as of, of uh, speculative long position. So that uh, shows both indicators shows the absolute high, historical high. So uh, when you're dealing with the probabilities, you're watching on the probability, on the chances. And of course, uh, it's very difficult to assume that market uh, will show this action. So its probabilities suggest some pause in our reaction. But here, some kind of the extraordinary factors are working right now. And you should be extra careful. So on the weekly chart of the euro, guys, uh, we just need to keep an eye on this pattern. The next destination point will be daily overbought. I uh, sorted daily. This is weekly, weekly overbought, guys. And 27 extension of this bottom line. This target stands approximately 2240. That's probably will be the destination point on uh, uh, euro currency next week. That's actually... The next target that we should keep an eye on. We have talked about it in last week, but mostly we uh, first have discussed the opportunity to trade this 120-130 resistance. And indeed, you can see this reaction has happened here uh, first, but market has continued to move higher. So by the uh, result of the circumstances, we need to jump through the 2130 right to the 2240 area. 2240 next target. Uh, so... That is what we'll be watching for on the euro currency and on the Great British Pound. On the intraday charts, guys, here we have uh, attractive setup on the Great British Pound, very good thrust up. Actually, we have two thrusts. First one is from these lows to this top. Another one is from these lows to this top. Both of them are suitable and, and because here, guys, we don't have the 30% retracement from this leg. This is not the 30% retracement. This is smaller. That's why we could treat this action as the single thrust up. Now, our task is simple. It's just watching for any bullish continuation patterns that could be formed on the next week. Because we know that the target stands at 38.20. So any retracement here will give us opportunity for possible taking the long position. What patterns could be formed? Usually, in such situation, there are two patterns could be formed, most probable. So they are Jude Napoli brand by the trade. So some retracement here. Or... Guard of triple to buy, some kind of the ABCD retracement. Uh, there are just two levels to watch for. I think hardly market will drop below these levels. And this first one is 36.64. Second is 36.15, 36.35. This is confidence support, also as previous tops. And guys, take a look at this weekly pivot point. So that's the area where upside reestablishing of the upper action is very probable. Uh, finally, Actually, you know that I'm not really big expert in the Elliott Waves method, but here is very clear action that uh, where the waves could be easily recognizable. So we take a look that this is first wave, second wave is minor retracement. This is major third wave. Uh, after third wave should be some deeper retracement. This is usually fourth wave. And final action is the fifth wave. Uh, so fifth wave stay, stand in uh, agreement with our suggestion because on the daily chart, 3820 area, 3840, that should be achieved precisely by the fifth wave action. We are mostly interested in the fourth wave, because this will provide us a retracement, and that was what will be our primary object, object to watch for any bullish patterns that could be formed here. So that's what we see uh, right now on the different markets and across the board. Uh, so just two points. On the Great Bridge Pound, we have discussed the situation, what we will do. On the other markets, guys, uh, break out of the major targets, major resistance and support areas, so that we have talked about in the dollar index, on the euro currency, uh, in a minor degree on the gold market, suggest that probably some more extended targets will be hit before major retracement will start. That's why we need to adjust, make an adjustment of the patterns that we'll be watching for, particularly speaking on the dollar index, as I said. Now we should keep an eye on the bottom line instead of the triple two buy that we have discussed on Friday. So, and just let's see what will happen. 
On the Great British Pound, it's a bit special situation. Um, if you will read our vehicle research, there is some fundamental part, fundamental analysis that tells uh, that not really very everything is uh, good in the economy right now. That's why approaching on this background is Great British Pound is approaching to the strong and major monthly confidence resistance. That could play actually very strong. And uh, this combination of the fundamental and technical factors. That's why uh, I continue to keep an eye on the British pound. And in general, it could provide a lot of good setups. So let's see what we will get in the coming week.